Question number 30 is a kind of real icing on the cake question, which is heat pumps, we have described already, are machines which are able to cool the garden. Are they able to cool the house? So essentially, every single air source heat pump on the market has the ability to cool as well as heat. Inside they have a thing, which you can see in this little graphic, which we call a four-way valve. It's an automatic valve in the machine. And this is used for a couple of functions which we'll discuss later on. But essentially, if we move this valve, what we do is we reverse the direction the refrigerant goes around the circuit. So now, instead of us cooling the garden, sucking the heat in, going through our compressor and pushing that heat into water, what we're going to do is we're going to suck the heat out of the water in the house and we're going to push that heat and throw it away into the garden. Well, that sounds like cooling. So essentially, by flicking a switch on your air source heat pump, you can now get cooling and it doesn't cost any more money. It's all in the box. However, it's a bit of a problem. So let me explain. Everybody who's ever pulled a lovely bottle of wine out of the fridge or a can of beer out of the fridge and left it on the side in a warm day knows that they start to sweat as soon as you get them outside. So anything cold when you bring it outside starts to sweat. This is a problem you have if you cool with your heat pump. So if I push cold water around your radiators, suddenly the radiators will start sweating like the clappers, all of the pipe work sweats, so you have to put towels under all the radiators to catch all the condensation, and you get terrible moisture problems under the floor. So that's the first problem, is that condensation is a bit of a nightmare, and it usually is the thing that means people don't cool with uh, an air source heat pump. But the next problem is also this, the amount of cooling you need in your house is always bigger than the amount of heating you need. The reason being that if you think about your house in winter, you're heating the house with your heating system, but you and the dog and the cat and the cooker and the kettle and so on are also helping a little bit to heat the house. When we want to cool the house, we have to fight you and the dog and the cooker and the kettle and so on and draw that heat out as well Plus, if it's sunny, we've got to fight the sun as well. So you always need a lot more cooling than you do heating. So it's highly unlikely that the heat pump that you've bought, which is big enough for heating, is going to be big enough to cool as well. So what people tend to do is one of two things. One is we choose a couple of zones of the house, for instance, maybe the bedrooms or you might do the lounge, and you actually put fan coil systems in, so fan-assisted radiators, if you will, which have the ability to absorb condensation and have drains and so on. So you have a dedicated cooling circuit that you might put in. But actually what tends to happen, sounds crazy, but is you have two totally separate systems. So you have a heating and hot water system, just like you have now, but driven by a heat pump. So that does all your heating, underfloor heating, radiators, hot water cylinder, and so on. And next to it, you have a totally dedicated air conditioning system. And the air conditioning system does all the cooling. The reason we do this is it's easy and weirdly cheaper. And the reason behind it is that air conditioning systems have much, much lighter regulation than heat pumps. So in this picture here, you can see two Samsung units. To you, the, the, the homeowner, they look like exactly the same units. The one on the left is a heating system. The one on the right is a cooling system. The heating system is covered by MCS, which means that the installer has to fill in something like 70 pages of paperwork to get this system installed. We have to tell the energy company that this machine is being installed. There's a lot of hoops to go through, but they're very generously gonna give you 5,000 pounds to put this in. The system on the right is a cooling system. There is no paperwork. You just stick it in. The one on the left we need planning permission for, the one on the right we don't. So these are quirks of, the, of life, which are air conditioning doesn't need planning permission, heat pumps do. So quite often you will see two what look like heat pumps outside, but one is a heat pump and one is an air conditioning unit. It's crazy, but that's life.